everybody. Today I'm looking at lots of sharks, whales, fish and other sea animals. Stay for the battle at the end between a killer whale or orca and a great white shark. Give a thumbs up if you like sharks. Please help me get to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing and sharing with your friends. Can you tell me how long the tusks on a walrus can grow? The flying fish can be seen jumping out of warm ocean waters around the world. Their streamlined torpedo shape helps them gather enough underwater speed to break the surface and their large wing-like pectoral fins get them airborne. The moray eel lives in holes and crevices amongst the rocks and coral on the ocean floor where it can also ambush prey. It is found in warm and temperate waters all around the world. Even though it looks snake-like, it is a fish, not a reptile. The blue spotted stingray has beautiful iridescent blue spots on the top part of its body. The spots are warning signs to other sea creatures warning that it is poisonous. Its yellowish green colour helps camouflage it from above and its pale underside helps to camouflage it from below. The giant squid. Squid have a soft body. As a squid moves through the water, they stretch in the mantle area. This forces water through the funnel. They are very quick as well as agile in the water. The Sally Lightfoot Crab is also known as the Red Rock Crab and inhabits the Galapagos Islands. It is a typically shaped crab with five pairs of legs, the front two bearing small blocky symmetrical pincers. The other legs are broad and flat. Walruses are bigger than most seals and both males and females have tusks. The tusks are actually long, sharp teeth that can grow to three feet or one meter long. They use their tusks like an ice pick to help pull their bodies up out of the water onto the ice. This is a 3D puzzle walrus. It was really good fun to make. The giant Australian cuttlefish is the world's largest cuttlefish and like many other cephalopods it is able to camouflage itself exceptionally well. Such a beautiful looking animal and I love the eyes, it looks so real. The sawfish are quite different to saw sharks. They are larger, have no barbells, and their gills are on the underside of the body, like a ray. Sawfish are closely related to sharks. The leopard shark is small and harmless to humans. They mainly eat invertebrates found on the bottom of the ocean which include crabs, shrimp, clams, octopus, fish rays and small sharks. Puffer fish are also known as blowfish. When a predator is after them, they suck in a lot of water and air into their elastic stomachs 
and become several times their normal size so they won't fit into the predator's mouth. Some species like this one have protective spines on their skin. The short fin mako shark is the fastest shark and is one of the fastest fish on the planet with top speeds of up to 45 miles or 74 kilometers per hour. It is able to leap out of the water when hunting. They are able to keep their body temperature at a higher level than the surrounding water. This is a major advantage when hunting in cold water. The orca or killer whale. Killer whales may circle around a group of fish forcing them into a tight ball while another killer whale swims underneath them to push them towards the surface of the water. Killer whales are also capable of using echolocation to find prey. Very clever animals. Weedy sea dragon is able to blend in with the seaweed and kelp where they live. They are closely related to seahorses and pipefish. Sea dragons have very long thin snouts, slender trunks covered in bony rings and thin tails and very colourful. The blue whale Blue whales are the largest animals to have lived on Earth. These magnificent marine mammals grow up to 100 feet or 30 meters long and upwards of 200 tons. They feed on tiny shrimp-like animals called krill. During certain times of the year, a single adult blue whale consumes about four tons of krill a day. Clown triggerfish lives in the coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific Ocean. It has very strong jaws and broad teeth for crunching through hard-shelled invertebrates like sea urchins, crustaceans and mollusks. With its bright colours, it looks like it's wearing clown makeup. This is a squid. When a squid feels they are in danger, they release a darkened cloud as they try to make their rapid escape. A squid has gills, which it uses to breathe through. It doesn't need to surface for air. Squid swim legs first. This is Papo's great white shark. Great white sharks don't have eyelids, but they can roll their eyeballs during attack to prevent eye injury. This is especially important when they hunt sea lions which have sharp claws. In the last moments of the attack, sharks are practically blind. Other than that, they have excellent eyesight. The humpback whale. They are not predatory, as they fill to feed for tiny krill or small surface fish. They are totally harmless to people. Like all whales, humpback whales are mammals and give life birth to very large calves. The lemon shark is yellow in colour with a white belly and can be found along the coasts of North and South America in the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. They live in warm and shallow waters, usually near the coral reefs or mangroves, bays and river mouths. The queen tree fish lives in coral reefs and in shallow water and down to a depth of 50 metres in the coastal waters of the eastern and western Atlantic Ocean. 
It feeds on a range of marine invertebrates including snails, bivalves, crabs, shrimps, sea urchins, sea stars and small fish. It will uncover buried prey by blowing water out of its mouth towards the sand where the creature is buried. This is Schleich's Dunkleosteus. This is a prehistoric fish. This is truly amazing. It has plates on the outside and you can see the unusual looking plates for teeth. I really like this model and I'm going to show you the Safari Dunkleosteus afterwards. There's lots of really good detail here. And here's my other Dunkleosteus. Again you can see the bony plates in the mouth and the hard outside covering, sort of like armour plates. I really like the colour of this one. A sea turtle. Turtles like to eat jellyfish, seaweed, crabs, shrimp, sponges, snails, algae and mollusks. They are found in all warm and temperate waters throughout the world and migrate hundreds of miles between nesting and feeding grounds. The starfish belongs to a large group of marine animals called Echinoderms. Starfish are usually found in the shallow water of any world ocean and cannot survive in fresh water. They are not related to fish. I like to call them sea stars. This is an octopus. They were able to regrow a lost arm. They also have beak like jaws that can deliver a nasty bite and some have venomous saliva. This is Blainville's B12. It's sometimes known as the dense B12. They are a species of whale that can be found in deep, warm waters all over the world. They are named after Henry de Blainville, the 19th century French zoologist who discovered the species. This is the largemouth bass. It is found in freshwater lakes and rivers. It likes to hide under cover, below logs, bridges, rock ledges and anything that will help protect and conceal it. I really like the colours on this fish. Emperor penguin. Emperors are the largest of all penguins. An average bird stands some 45 inches or 115 centimeters tall. These flightless animals live on the Antarctic ice and in the very cold surrounding waters. This is a crab. Crabs are also known as decapods because they have 10 legs. The first pair of legs is modified into claws called chile. Crabs walk and swim sideways. The exoskeleton is a shell or carapace. Crabs have eyes on the stalks just like snails. The dugong are vegetarians and related to manatees and are similar in appearance and behaviour. Though the dugong's tail is fluked just like a whale's. Both are related to the elephant 
Although the giant land animal is not at all similar in appearance or behaviour. The Spotted Seal They are found in the North Pacific Ocean ranging from Alaska to Japan in Arctic or subarctic waters. They have silver to light grey fur with dark spots. Pups are born with a white coat but molt to the adult colours after three or four months. The blue spotted stingray can grow up to 28 inches long including the blue striped tail which has one or two venomous spines. Its yellow eyes have an excellent field of vision. The holes above the eyes are spiracles for breathing. The finback whale or the fin whale is the second largest animal in the world. It is also known as the razorback. It is a baleen whale. The blue crab is named after its blue coloured claws. Females have a reddish tint on the tips of their pincers. They are excellent swimmers with specially adapted hind appendages shaped like paddles. To defend themselves they use their sharp front pincers. Look out! Seahorses are fish that have a horse shaped head with a downward pointing snout which is used for sucking up food. They propel themselves by using small fins on their back and steer with pectoral fins either side of their head. The whale shark is the largest fish in the sea, about 40 feet or 12 meters long. The whale shark is a filter feeder. It feeds near the surface by filtering water through its massive jaws. Its favourite food is plankton. The whale shark's flattened head has a blunt snout above its mouth with short barbels protruding from the nostrils. The Ammonite first appeared around 240 million years ago. They went extinct with the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. This cephalopod was a predatory squid-like creature that lived inside a coil-shaped shell. It had sharp, beak-like jaws inside a ring of tentacles that came out from their shell to trap prey such as small fish and crustaceans. This is another walrus. Sometimes they use their tusks to catch prey or to poke air holes in the ice. Walruses live in cold arctic areas and have thick layers of blubber to help keep warm. This is a mermaid. She looks beautiful. I really like the colors on this and the way they've used shells to help decorate her body. She's got lovely seaweed jewels and beautiful hair. Killer whales hunt in groups called pods. They work together to target prey and are able to communicate using various sounds. Orcas are the largest of the dolphins 
and are easy to recognize by their distinctive black and white coloring. This is a 3D penguin. It was quite good fun to make. Manta ray, a flat bodied fish that measure over three meters wide. They eat tiny living organisms called plankton floating in the water. They are able to jump out of the water. Hermit crab has a soft underbody which it protects by carrying a shell on its back. Its shell belongs to another animal. As the hermit crab grows, they continue to find larger shells to live in. The bowhead whale belongs to the group of baleen whales. It is also known as the Greenland right whale. They are found in the cold waters of the Arctic Sea. They have dark bluish black skin with white patches on the jaw, belly and tail. It does not have a dorsal fin. Hammerhead shark is a very unusual looking shark. They use their wide set eyes to give them a better field of vision. The hammer shaped head has sensory organs that help them detect prey. It can even find stingrays buried in the sand. It also eats fish, crabs, lobsters and squid. The mouth is located on the underside of the head. The guitar fish is a shark ray. It has a wide and thick body with a rounded snout and large shark-like dorsal and tail fins. Notice the wavy mouse line. The tiger shark. These large blunt-nosed sharks have excellent eyesight and sense of smell. Their powerful jaws have sharp, highly serrated teeth that can even crack the shells of sea turtles and clams. The pilot whale is not actually a whale but a dolphin. The stocky body is black or dark grey with a greyish area on the belly and an anchor shaped grey patch on the chin. The sperm whale is the world's largest toothed whale and unlike the baleen whales, sperm whales are active predators eating large squid, large bony fish and sharks. Their teeth are conical shaped for catching prey. Piranha fish lives in the rivers of the South American jungles. It has a single row of razor sharp teeth that are triangular in shape and are used to puncture and rip into prey. The piranhas live together in large shoals. Feeding frenzies will be triggered when there is blood in the water. Another tiger shark. They get their name from the dark vertical stripes found mainly on the younger sharks 
which fed as they mature. The blue shark is found worldwide. It is one of the fastest fish in the sea with a sleek, tapered body that is made for fast swimming and quick turns. The tailfin moves from side to side, propelling the shark along. It will pursue its prey for long distances and can even leap out of the water. The megamouth shark is a rare shark form. This is one of the three types of sharks that are filter feeders. They have uniquely designed jaws and gills for it. The water and anything in it is taken into the mouth, then is filtered out by grates around the gills. The water is pushed back out with the various debris found in it consumed. The octopus has a massive rounded head, large eyes and eight distinctive arms. It is able to camouflage itself with its surroundings. Predators such as sharks, eels and dolphins may often swim by without even noticing it. This is the giant Pacific octopus. When discovered, an octopus will release a cloud of black ink to make its escape. They move forward by expelling water through their mantles. I really like the colour of this one. Jellyfish use their tentacles to sting. Most are harmless to humans, but stings from the transparent box jellyfish can be very painful and sometimes kill. They are shaped like an umbrella and can be brightly coloured or translucent. The sperm whale has a large brain and the most powerful sonar which they use to help find their prey in the dark deep sea. I'm going to compare this to my other one. That's quite a difference there. The sonar in their head causes them to have a block shaped head, making them very easy to recognise. Beluga whales are the smallest whale. They live in coastal waters off the Arctic Ocean and in the subarctic regions. When ice starts to form, the belugas migrate south towards warmer water. They are easily recognised by the white skin and rounded forehead and they have no dorsal fin. The nurse shark lives in coral and rocky reefs of the Eastern Pacific Ocean and the Eastern and Western Atlantic Ocean. They grow to 10 feet or 3 meters and are a yellowish brown color. They have rounded heads and barbels that they use to search for prey and very small eyes. The Moorish Idlefish lives in the subtropical and tropical regions and likes to live in reefs and lagoons. They are very popular in the Indo-Pacific region. Another tiger shark. They are common in tropical and subtropical waters throughout the world. They grow up to 25 feet or 7.5 meters in length and can weigh up to a ton. The 
this zebra shark is also known as the leopard shark. This shark actually changes in appearance over its lifetime. Juveniles have stripes on their skin and are called zebra sharks, but as they become adults, their skin becomes more spotted, then they're called leopard sharks. Sea lions are marine mammals that have external ear flaps, long fore flippers and short thick hair. They can walk on all four flippers. They are very social animals and can communicate with each other. This is the orca calf. Orcas are the largest of the dolphins and are easy to recognize. They have long rounded bodies with large dorsal fins at the middle of their backs. Their black bodies are marked with white patches on the underside and near the eyes. The cow nose ray. They are related to sharks and skates. They get their name from their forehead, which looks like a cow's nose. They are brown to olive coloured on top and pale underneath. They grow to between 2 and 3 feet, which is 60 to 90 centimetres. This is my diver Kevin. He loves sharks and spends a lot of time swimming in the ocean. This is my diver Michelle. All the sea creatures love her. The pygmy sperm whale is a toothed whale with 10 to 16 teeth in their lower jaw only. It is a bluish grey colour with a lighter pinkish coloured underbody. Behind each eye, these marine mammals have a light, curved line that is known as a false gill. The dolphin. Dolphins are very intelligent. They are often seen playing in the water and even jumping out of the water. They can ride waves, they like to play fight and occasionally swim with humans. Dolphins use a blowhole on top of their heads to breathe. The black tip reef shark usually lives near the coral reefs and in the shallow coastal water. It can be found in estuaries and brackish water occasionally too. Precious shark is named after the shark's unusually large tail or caudal fin, which in most cases is nearly as long as the shark itself. Goldfish are descendants of carp and originated from China. They have teeth in their throat which are used to crush their food. Different parts of their intestines help break down food. The bull shark is an aggressive shark and live in the shallow warm waters of all the world's oceans. They are able to live in seawater and fresh water. The bull shark, great whites and tiger sharks are the three species most likely to attack humans. They get their name from their short blunt snout. The horseshoe crab is also known as the king crab. It is a hard shelled invertebrate found on the seafloor in warmer shallow coastal waters. The horseshoe crab has a hard outer shell, five pairs of legs and a long thin tail which is used for changing direction when swimming. 
It's actually not a crab and is more closely related to spiders and scorpions. The clownfish is also known as the anemone fish and have been made popular by the Finding Nemo movie. Clownfish are found in warmer waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans including the Red Sea and the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. An octopus they are able to squeeze into small cracks and crevices to escape predators. They are able to regrow a lost arm if required. The southern right whale is a baleen whale and has a broad back without a dorsal fin, white pectoral fins, a long arching mouth that begins above the eye and small rough patches of skin on its large head. The bonnet head shark is also known as the shovel head shark. It is a type of hammer head shark with a smooth rounded head. It is harmless and timid. The leatherback turtle. Turtles are reptiles and have a hard protective bony shell. The shell is streamlined to help them with swimming. The largest turtle is the leatherback sea turtle. It can weigh over 900 kilograms or 2,000 pounds. That's huge. The Moorish idol fish. The bars of color on the body of the Moorish idol break up the body outline and make it harder for predators to tell where the fish begins and ends. It also serves as great camouflage. The clownfish coexists with the sea anemone which has poisonous tentacles. The clownfish keeps the anemone clean and is also protected from predators by the poisonous tentacles. The shark ray is also known as the mudskate and bowmouth guitar fish. It feeds on the seafloor and eats fish, crustaceans and mollusks. The blue tang are often found on reefs, swimming in large schools, grazing on algae. The fins are relatively small. The great white shark is the largest predatory fish and is probably the most well known and feared shark. Great white sharks have pale grey skin, white bellies, bullet shaped bodies and a crescent shaped tail with a pointed snout and lots of sharp teeth. Megalodon is a prehistoric monster shark that first appeared about 20 million years ago. It is the largest prehistoric shark to have ever existed and one of the most powerful predators on earth. Its teeth grow up to 7 inches or 16 centimeters long and it would have fed upon large prehistoric whales. As teeth are lost or broken or worn down they are replaced by new teeth. Inside the jaws of the great white shark are up to 300 serrated triangular teeth. The first two rows of teeth are used for grabbing and cutting prey. The teeth in the last rows can move forward when the front teeth are broken or lost. Great White's body colour helps camouflage it. I love the jaw. They have a white underbelly and a darker top. Oh, he's going to eat the blue tang. This gives them some camouflage from prey, where they can blend in with a darker ocean floor when viewed from above, a 
same with the bright surface when viewed from below. So you press on the dorsal fin there and the mouth opens and closes. This great white shark is going to battle the killer whale. This is Jaws. When the great white attacks, it bites its prey and shakes its head back and forth. The serrated teeth act as a saw and literally tear the victim apart. If you put a small fish in this Jaws mouth, it will actually swallow it and you can get it back afterwards. I won't force that fish down, but you can see it goes right back. The orca or killer whale. I really like the way you can move that jaw. This orca is going to fight the big great white shark in a minute. I wonder who will win. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Now you must wait around because there's going to be a battle between the great white shark and the killer whale. And please remember to tell me how long the walrus tusks grow to. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture. Please subscribe, share and like. Thank you.